Hello, Stacey. Nice Hiya. to meet you. Nice to meet and you. And who's this? This is Shay. Shay. Hello, Shay. So you're going to give us a little tour, you said? I am, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here to see how mould affects so Stacey's life. You get a lot of damp day in, around my day out. You get a lot of damp, like, comes up all on the blinds, hence why I don't have curtains. Um, you get a lot of brown water that drips down, which Lambeth have said is from a leak in my roof. And then I'm going to show you the bedroom. Now, this is where I'm supposed to sleep, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, I can't because oh wow look at that it all comes up on my bed and yeah. obviously so the, the mold is literally coming through the mattress yeah and then I want to uh, show you these so this is my this is my clothes basically now clothes the them smell because they absolutely they're ruined everything in here that is that's really bad yeah it stinks it's ev everything and then even even my shoes are just ruined i mean i've got a one pair there cost me 180 pound can't wear them because they're literally covered in damp and mold the damp is, is everywhere and it's coming through the cupboard it's coming it's just coming through everywhere it comes through everything and then look what i have to deal with in the bathroom it's all buffs behind the sinks there oh yeah just down there yeah and it's all down there. that side as well and guy i wanted to show you this in here because mm -hmm. you might wonder why all of my food is out this would be why because all my cupboards are covered in damp and mold so the food goes rotten and it goes moldy and i can't take that risk because obviously i've got a small baby and worse it may even be affecting her health she's got a lung condition called copd the symptoms of which doctors have told her are being worsened by having to live with mold like this horrendous disheartening Scared, fear, death. Why? Uh, my dad died. Of, I've got COPD. Um, my dad died of that, and I'm scared I'm going to go the same way. And I don't want to leave my kids. I'm petrified that this house is going to kill me. I was asked to come here um, by the tenant because of how bad the dump and mould. Unfortunately, Stace is not alone. New figures seen exclusively by BBC London reveal the scale of the problem. Complaints to the housing ombudsman about mould, a type of fungus that grows in damp environments, sometimes causing health problems, have nearly tripled in the capital since 2021. The problem is that it often takes ages to sort mould out and can be expensive. Residents like Antonio, who was living in a flat that looked like this, is fighting now with his local housing association to get it sorted out. Meanwhile, he's couch surfing with serious physical disabilities. I pretty much just stay downstairs. This is pretty much where I eat, eat sleep, everything. I've faced many um, obstacles in my life. And uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I was born uh, with a situation that caused me to have the disabilities that I have, uh, fingers, legs, etc. And uh, 40 I would have thought that the very least I would be, I'd have my own place. I didn't ever feel that I would be in a position where I'm having to fight a housing association about disrepair. Antonio's housing association, Notting Hill Genesis, told us that since this home video, they've carried out improvements to his home. And they believe he can now move back in. Resident safety, they say, is their top priority. Lambeth Council told us dealing with mould and damp in Stacey's flat is a priority. But the service they provided in this case has not been up to the standard required. They apologise for the distress caused by these failings. You really notice the small things living in a house with mould, like having to have the heater on day in, day out, whatever the weather. I can't turn this house into a home. This is it's a shell, it's not a home. And it hasn't been for years. Look, we've got to make the bed. And every night with your mattress condemned by mould, not being able to sleep in your own bedroom. 